Hey friend, welcome to Self Transformed, a podcast dedicated to transforming your health in less time and guilt-free through the power of habit hacking. This isn't your typical wellness podcast, friend, so hang on tight. I'm your host, Emily Nichols, habit and fitness coach and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. (laughs) Hey, I know the struggle is real when it comes to taking care of you. As a busy working mom myself, my clients and I have felt physically and emotionally drained, but lack the time and confidence to actually make ourselves a priority. Plus, all the health advice out there is so confusing and overwhelming, right? Redefining what true health really means paired with habit strategy from the female perspective has been the key to empowering my clients and even myself to finally create a consistent, healthy lifestyle that doesn't feel hard or just like another thing on your long to-do list. I'm now on a mission to equip you with these same sustainable habit hacks and affordable tools to help reset your habits in any season of your life in order to help you thrive. So if you're ready to habit hack your health and create your transformation together, then let's do this. You're listening to episode 183 of Self Transformed. Hey friend, happy December 26th. It's the day after Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful holiday with your family and loved ones and you're still enjoying that time. I know sometimes, well, most of the time Christmas isn't just one day. It's usually like a few days of festivities, but I hope you're making some time for some rest and reflecting on what you want to do, but most importantly, who you want to be in 2023. If who you want to be in the new year is a more patient, purposeful, present mom, wife, spouse, whatever. And if you want to be a healthy person who has healthy habits, creating your own habit identity and those habits supporting you to be that healthy person, then come join us in Habit Transformation Boot Camp, friend. I know I keep talking about it, but I am just so excited. After you know watching this podcast grow, which I'll talk about here in a moment, and getting feedback from the girls in my membership community, the Habit Hacking Society, friends on Instagram, just like your reviews, I'm so excited because I know this program is so unique because it was made with you. It was made with you in mind. It's coming from a place of habit strategy with me being a behavior change specialist and geeking out on habits since 2015. (laughs) I could seriously talk about it all day long. It's my favorite thing, getting interviewed on other people's podcasts, talking about habit strategy. You know, as I've learned basic habit strategy, it's great. I mean, there's so much science-backed research to support it. But what it's missing is that female perspective and all the extra things we have going on in our lives and, you know, giving ourselves grace. You know, I think maybe we come from a place of fear because we have a lot of past failures in the past. And I want you to know that's not your fault, you know. It's, it's, I've said this the past couple episodes, but this is a marathon. It's not a sprint and you are training for your life. You are training for your life and there is no finish line. There is no finish line when it comes to your health. So I want to provide you a healthy habit plan that's going to work for you and your lifestyle, providing you the options to be consistently flexible, to pivot as new seasons of your life come up, but also really losing the overwhelm and diet culture be us, if I'm being real here, and just focusing on those fundamental needs. So if you want to come join us in Habit Transformation Bootcamp, this is my live six-week one-on-one group coaching program. We're going to have group calls together. We're going to have one-on-one calls together. They're self-paced modules. There'll be an audio-only version of this as well because most of my community comes from the podcast. So that means you like to listen to things and have things easily accessible and on the go. And I have that in the forefront of my mind when I create any programs now. It's like, okay, how is this going to work 
for my listener, okay? And there's gonna be some free resources for you included from the Transformation Shop because you know we love talking about the power of tracking and how that helps, which we will also talk about today in today's episode. So it's linked in the show notes, but you can also go to bit.ly slash habit transformation bootcamp. Again, we start January 2nd, only a few limited spots are available, so come grab yours ASAP. What a great Christmas gift to yourself, right? We start January 2nd, which is in one week. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so I'm really excited. I've been I've planned this episode all year and I pulled the data and the facts last week and it just really reaffirms what we're doing here at Self Transform. We're helping you habit hack your health in less time and guilt-free. I hope I'm giving you tools that you feel are really simple and easy to use in your life. And I've really doubled down on habit strategy this year because I feel like that was what I needed to do to bridge the gap. You know, I could tell you all these different healthy habits to do, but to actually do them logistically is what I doubled down on this year. And, you know, as a podcaster, I do have to look at the data and see where the data takes me as far as what to create for you. So every year I sit down, or every month I do sit down and I take a look on what are the most popular episodes, but I sat down last week to see what were the most popular episodes um, of this year. So I'm gonna share my top t- my top 10 episodes and it's gonna be no, it's no surprise, they're all focused around habit strategy and the three fundamental needs I teach on, movement, mindset, and food freedom. I was curious if it was gonna you know, be weighted heavily in one area or the other, but no, <laughs> no. It was such a even disbursement between these top 10 episodes and it just makes me so excited because when I started this podcast, I really just wanted to provide you that that listening ear for you to feel like you're not alone. I hope when you listen to the show, you're like, gosh, yes, I feel like Emily gets me. I know I'm not alone. You know, that's why we have this society. That's why I created the boot camp. That's why we're there's one-on-one coaching is because you are not alone. I've been there. The ladies all that I've worked with as, have been there. And I'm going to say it again. There is just no finish line when it comes to your health and we're living in a state of low energy. We're tired. We're just, no one is getting the best of us. And a lot of us as entrepreneurs, as working moms, we're tired, y'all. <laughs> we don't have time to take a nap, right? And not that would not that, that would even help at this point. And I know how that feels because in 2015, I feel like I know that was the start of my transformation journey because... I did the whole 30 for the first time. And that was something that was really hard for me to do because I had never seen anything till the end, especially for my health. And I had a really messed up version of what health really meant. And it just snowballed from there. And just as I have gotten so much more clear on, you know, as different seasons of my life have changed as my kids have gotten older as i've gotten more clear on what true health really means and really being able to help people i just again want you to know that you're not alone so like i said in looking at the statistics a couple of things i want to share with you before i share these top 10 episodes so the downloads from self-transformed doubled they exactly doubled it from 2021 into 2022, they doubled. So the whole year of 2021, we, we we doubled it this whole year. And we're just over 200,000 downloads total, which mind blowing. This is a long game. If anyone has a podcast, it is a long game. And that's that momentum is going because I've gained so much more clarity in regards to my mission and how to best help you and meeting you where you are. Okay, real quick, I know you have felt this way before too. You start a new healthy habit routine and you find a good flow, but then life gets in the way and you find yourself in a new season of life or a new year and that healthy habit routine just isn't working for you anymore. 
Instead of just giving up, join me for the next live Healthy Habit Reset, January 10th, 11th, and 12th at 12 p.m. Eastern. So during the reset, you will learn the simple five-step habit change method that I only share in this masterclass where I take the overwhelm and confusion out of health and teach you how to reset your habits for whatever season of life you are in. The new year is a really great time to reevaluate what habits are working for you or not. And of course, we're going to have a heavy dose of habit strategy from the female perspective. Okay, and I know what you're thinking. How long is this going to take me? I know your time is precious. So each day will only be there for about 15, 20 minutes max and replays will be sent out with to you. Plus, I'll have a workbook to help you take action so it won't take up a ton of your time. So go to bit.ly slash healthy habit reset to sign up and reserve your spot. I'll see you inside of the reset. All right, let's get back to the show. Now we are going to end the year with a very special episode later this week that I just want to kind of toot 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 my own horn on or just share with you. You know, I started this podcast three years ago and when I was thinking about, oh my gosh, who am I going to interview? You know, the Whole30 was something that really transformed my life. And like I said, I still offer Whole30 coaching and courses that's available in the transformation shop and on my website. It's all linked down below for you because I know it was it was truly transformative for my life and snowballed into all these other areas of my health. And we'll talk about that more on Thursday with the co-founder of the Whole30, Melissa Urban. I am stoked. I am pumped. I'm excited. I am honored. I feel so... Um, I, I want to go back to Emily from three years ago because three years ago when I was writing out who I'd want to be on my show, I wrote down Melissa Urban. Then I kind of laughed at myself like, why would someone like that with <laughs> such a big following and such a big um, you know responsibility on her shoulders with creating the Whole30 and making sure she's putting out content, why would she want to come on my show? And she did. And that made me feel seen. That made me feel really excited for you all to hear this conversation. We'll talk a little bit about the Whole30, but we're mostly going to talk about boundaries on Thursday to end the, the year um, with a bang. So I'm really excited and you know, growth takes time. Just seeing those numbers over time and landing really big guests for the show. Like y'all, the people coming, I have guests booked out throughout May right now. It's so exciting. And as I've gained more clarity and confidence in how to help you, I hope you are feeling that as well. So gang, there will be a link in the show notes to go to my website. Check out the blog. I'll have a link to every single one of these episodes in the show notes if you want to refer back to them easily as well. So let's talk about it. And if you hear some paper, I actually wrote everything down. It was just easier for me. So I'll be flipping back and forth. So let's start with, I'm going to start with number one. I'm going to start with number one. The number one <laughs> downloaded episode of 2022 for Self Transformed was a Habit Hack Thursday back in March. It was how to take ownership of your calendar and time. Taking a cue from Jesse Spano. I can't believe this was the number one episode. It makes me laugh. So just a little background. I'm not going to spend too much time on each individual episode, just kind of highlighting these, but especially this first one. Okay, I'm 41. I'm a millennial, I guess. I don't know. But if you remember Say by the Bell, everyone remembers Jesse Spano trying to do all the things, right? She's trying to prepare for college. She's trying to do this. She's trying to learn this dance. And she's st standing in her bedroom with Zach Morris. And she's taking caffeine pills. And she's, she's trying to learn, I'm so excited. And she's taking all these pills. And she's like, I can do it. I can do it. I'm so excited. Then she starts crying and says, I'm so scared. If you're my age, you know. You know. Like, you could recite it just like I did. But, you know, I was thinking back to that episode I was saved by the bell when I was putting together that episode back in March, you know, just that feeling of just feeling so chaotic and how to really take ownership of your calendar and time. We do that via a habit inventory, okay? So that is a product we have in the Transformation Shop. You can check it out at transformationshop.co. It's all linked in the show notes for you, okay? Um, but it's a way for you to really kind of take a look at, well, where is all my time going and reevaluating what you're putting on your calendar? But just taking that cue from Jesse Spano feeling just all over the place, I I love that that was the number one episode of this year. Number two is episode 132, how to listen to your intuition. This was talking about that gut feeling, how to 
really listen to your gut and how you know what's up and how physically sometimes you can feel, you know, that gut feeling. Like if you get butterflies or maybe your stomach gets a little upset and listening to that gut feeling when you have something in that you're t- is telling you, yes, this is for me, or maybe no, this is not for me, right? And that was actually a re-airing of a, a free workshop that I did, which PS in 2023 monthly workshops are coming back. You'll hear more about that soon. Okay, number three was a recent one. It was episode 177. Yes, 177, the power of tracking. Oh my goodness. I, you know, I opened up the transformation shop because of this very reason. And I love that this was one of the top episodes of the year. You know, we have a lot of different trackers, specific ones, specific habit trackers, ones around mindset, food freedom, and movement, because those are the three fundamental needs we teach on. And just how tracking is a habit in itself and seeing that progress and momentum can really lead to your success. So I love that that was one of the top ones. Number four was episode 159, Three Healthy Habits for Transformation. I can't even. So... What are the three healthy habits for transformation? Well, it is mindset, movement, and food freedom. The three fundamental needs I teach on as a habit and fitness coach. Like, ding, ding, ding. Like, this is all telling me. You guys get it. I love it. Number five was episode number 146. This was part of a fitness series. It was fitness series, epi- uh, series two of four with Moms of Peloton. I love that episode so much. And just talking about the power of community and group fitness. That was one of my most popular episodes. At Ke- I always see the downloads still increasing on that. And that was way back in the spring, or I'm sorry, early summer. Um, but yeah, we talked about the power of community and finding that in fitness. And we did that through um, my wonderful friend from Moms of Peloton. I love it so much. Number six was a Habit Hack Thursday from May 4th. Fourth, it was what to do, how to take control of your schedule when it feels chaotic. And that was really focused on going into the summertime. So we had a really, you know, your habits kind of, your schedule changes, right? Every season, Um, it could be weather-wise or it could be season with your kids. So we talked about some habits that you can have leading into the summer. And that's just another way of saying like, hey, this is how to pivot your habits when your season of life changes. That's great. And make sure to check out the Healthy Habit Reset that's coming up live here in the next couple of weeks. We'll go through that live together the 10th, 11th, 12th. Can't wait for that. Let's see. That was number six. Number seven was episode 158, Easy Meal Prep and Cooking Habits. I loved that episode. We talked a lot about ingredient meals and ways to really... Um, (laughs) make cooking simple, make meals simple, because that is one of the ways we have to do habits differently as women. And as one of the ways we, one of the things we're teaching inside a habit transformation boot camp is my food freedom guide. And like, we're not just talking about food freedom. We're like, how can we make meals easier? How can we make grocery shopping easier? How can we take this off our plate literally and figuratively and ask for help? So I loved that episode so much. Number eight was episode 170, how to sleep better and reverse the clock on aging. So y'all are like 41, like me, guys are close to my age. And I know a lot of my friends don't sleep well. I know sometimes when I don't sleep well, it's, it's, it's hard. And you've heard my husband's transformation story of his insomnia and how that just really impacted his health. And once he got in charge of his gut, took charge of his health, how his sleep transformed and the age turned, the clock turned back for him. It's the same for ladies as well. I know it always takes us longer than men, whatever men, (laughs) but this was a really fun episode and I really loved that one too. Number nine was part of a confidence series. I love that so much. It was episode number 164 and it was stop waiting on the wait. Oh, that was with our friends from Cycle Bar, which, you know, I used to be a Cycle Bar instructor as well. And just talking about the power of showing up 
and not waiting to be a certain number on the scale. You know me as a habit and fitness coach. I don't, I focus on non-scale victories. I'm not focused on the scale. If you want to take progress pictures, I think that's great. Sometimes I check in with myself, but sometimes that's a little triggering for myself too. I talked about that when I did my 75 hard or 75 soft or medium, whatever you want to call it. Um, I love that episode so much. And then lastly, number 10, was episode 169. It was micro habits for moms who work outside the home. Okay. Okay. I loved this episode. You know, I work from home. I've worked outside of the home. I work, you know, I do go and coach at Orange Theory. So I do go somewhere to work sometimes as well. Although I don't see it as work. I love it so much. Um, But it does take a lot of energy. Um, but I love this episode and I got a lot of great feedback from people because they're I a lot of them were like, I'm listening to podcasts as I'm driving to work as because those were one of the micro habits we mentioned in that episode and just getting a little more creative with taking charge of your health and those simple little micro habits, micro being something really, really tiny and how that can add up throughout the day when you're in your car in between appointments, driving your kids places, lunch breaks, so forth. And I hope that was really useful for you as well. So what this tells me, those are my top 10 episodes. You're really wanting to focus on those fundamental needs again. So we definitely talked about mindset and habit strategy. We talked about food. We talked about movement, but it seemed like a lot of it had to do with time as well, which y'all, that is the biggest challenge I hear from my audience is I never have enough time. So there are tools in the transformation shop. That is something we will tackle early on in Habit Transformation Boot Camp to help you tackle that time. And I want you to be able to spend your time showing up as the best version of you. And I know Habit Transformation Boot Camp can help you do that. And we're going to continue doing that together through Self Transformed as well. So friends, I promised you a gift for hanging with me and just based on all of this data you're showing me from this past year listening to Self Transformed, I wanted to give you my new free healthy habit cheat sheet. So this is a free resource. It's going to teach you how to start a habit. There's just three steps to starting a new habit, but also I am pairing it with over 60, well right at 60, 60 healthy habit ideas. And of course, those are just focused on food freedom, movement, and mindset. So I have 20 ideas for you in each category. If you're like, okay, that sounds great, but what what, what should I do? I'm going to give you 60 ideas to figure out where you want to start in those three categories paired with some habit strategy. And I have some bonus tips on there as far as actual atomic habits for women. So you can get that at bit.ly slash healthy habits cheat sheet. It is linked in the show notes for you, my friend. So gang, Thank you so much. I am sending you the big virtual hug. I'm so grateful for you listening. I think 2022 has been a wonderful year and I'm looking forward to the wonderful things we're going to do together. And I can't wait to hear about all the transformations that are going to happen for you in the new year. So many great ways we can work together. I am here for it. Take care. Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you want some free motivation texted to you every week to help you habit hack your health, send me your favorite emoji to 773-904-2157 to sign up for my weekly pump up text. I can't wait to catch up with you there. And if you have any quick questions for me or feedback, it's me on the other end. So text me back, friend. And if you love the show, the number one way you can thank me is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way more mamas can find the show. Tag me in your Instagram stories at emilynichols22. What you love about the show. Show me your review so I can shout you out. Love and appreciate you, friend. I'll see you next time.